So this is a instructional video on how to use the X2 Slim. In front of us we have an X2 Slim P. Uh, this is the one featuring the wireless push to talk button. Uh, first we're going to get started by powering and turning the unit on and off. Obviously that's that button on the top. That let, allows the unit to power on. The unit tells you what mode it's in when you turn it on. Now we're turning it back off and I'm going to show you how to pair it to a cell phone. The easiest way to do it is to press down the control knob in the off position and also tur while turning the unit on. But you want to continue to hold that until you get the lights to blink rapidly on the unit. Just like that. Now we're going into the cell phone and we are going to look to pair this. So we're going to go under Bluetooth on the cell phone, just like that. You will find X2 Slim on the bottom. And it will tell you it is connected. Now to play any type of audio or anything through your phone, um, obviously it's connected Bluetooth. Uh, you do have to be in communication, I'm sorry, not communication mode, music playing mode. So by doing that, you double tap the unit. It tells you communication mode. We go into music playing mode by counter clock counter clock clockwise once. Now we're in music playing mode. Let's go back over to the phone. Find some music. We can also vo control the volume on here. Or we can control the volume obviously on the unit. If I can turn it clockwise. Every time you hear the beep, that means it's maximized on the volume. You could also play and pause the song by tapping it once to pause, tapping it again back to play now if you want to turn down the volume you can obviously go counterclockwise and turn the unit down let's turn it back up here now to fast forward to any song and you can say play the next song you want to press down the control knob and turn it that will play the next song Um, then from there, say someone is communicating to you and someone, or you want to say something back to the other rider. Uh, the push to talk button is a two-way radio, um, so you want to think of it like a walkie-talkie. Say you're on a ride and you want to tell people to sl uh, slow down or let's get some gas. You push the talk, tell them what you need to say. You can actually hear a little, you can hear it key on through the speakers. When you let go, it goes right back to the song. So let's pause this here real quick. And then we'll also, also let you figure out what the other features are on the X2 Slim P. Um, if you double tap, that's what you want to do here. Let's go to communication mode. That's one click over. That allows you to change the channel. So, so from some privacy, you can change the channel on the unit. It has 22 channels, 36 sub-channels. You're gonna think of it again like a walkie-talkie. You can also change the channel to the sub-channels. That's the uh, sub channel. So, so it's channel 7, sub channel 5. Let me click it over again. It's Vox, it's voice activation. So uh, the, the mic will key on with, with your, uh, your voice in the microphone. 5 is the highest. Uh, we normally leave it on 3 or 4, 
That'd probably be the best setting so that you know it's the optimal for a motorcycle. Now, if you don't touch anything, it goes back to the home screen. So that's why you want to you kind of go do the go through all the features pretty quickly. Let's go double tap to go to communication mode. There's also oh, let's go back to communication mode. Sorry. Then we're changing channel, CTS setting. That's the sub channels. Voice activation, voice calling off, we have to leave it on. That's if you want to take phone calls to your phone. And you complete that. Other than the uh, communication mode features, let's go over to intercom mode. So intercom mode is for you and your passenger to speak so you can plug in a extension cord and another headset and speak to you and your passenger intercom, Go over to intercom FM mode radio. fm radio mode is the next mode so we're doing double tap and you turn it over to the next mode and you can obviously hear the fm radio so fm radio on here pretty easy to use you can go over to a regular radio station in the area. Um, that's probably the best reception one in the area. So it tells you how good the quality is for the uh, FM radio. So let's go over to the next mode. That's music playing mode, which we were in earlier. And that's for GPS on your phone, uh, phone calls. Uh, all the phone, uh, I'm sorry, music features on your phone. So your, either your playlist, uh, Spotify, Pandora, all that iHeart music, you could hear it through your phone. Um, or music, and you have to be on music playing mode in order to play that. Uh, other than that, communication mode, intercom mode, obviously FM primary mode, music playing mode. And you could set on every every mode to just hit the PTT button. So let's just go overview of how you get there. Um, a lot of people have a hard time of doing that. All you're doing is double tapping. But if you double tap and you wait too long and try to turn it now, it's not going to do anything. So when you double tap it, you got to double tap it and figure out which mode you want right away. Because if you don't, it's not going to do anything. And that's where a lot of people get confused for some reason. Other than that, it's very, very simple, easy to use. It has a uh, five mile range on any type of flat surface or without any obstructions in the way. Um, but any type of, uh, you know, city environment or even in the woods, which a lot of people use these for snowmobiling, uh, you're probably looking at anywhere from a half a mile or almost to a mile. Uh, but it plays everything on your phone. A lot of people like using it for GPS or even take phone calls. And believe it or not, the phone call quality on a cell phone conversation via Bluetooth through the, through the unit is very clear. Uh, we also test this unit on the freeway. Um, I tested it myself. I'm able to do about, say, about 85, not even 90 miles per hour and still be able to have a clear conversation with the other riders. So... A lot different from Senna, Scholar Rider, or Euclear, uh, because we still have the Bluetooth features to pair to your phone. All the multimedia stuff, that's all standard in all our units. However, where we're different is we use two-way radio. So two-way radio is a lot more reliable when it comes to distance, and also it does, it's not limited to line of sight. Um, something like a Senna, Scholar Rider, or Euclear, they, they, they rely on Bluetooth from rider to rider which uh, Bluetooth, uh, you have to be able to see the other rider to talk to them. Which in some conditions, even in motorcycle conditions, especially in snowmobile conditions, it's not very good. Uh, other than that, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you.